I'm going to show you how to set up an easy passive income stream in as little as 10 minutes. This side hustle has the potential to earn over $1,000 per month and absolutely anyone around the world can get started for free. There are people selling hundreds of low content books like journals, notebooks, and planners on amazon.com with the help of Amazon KDP. They have no writing skills or graphic design skills and they're not even printing or shipping these books to their customers. This is something that Amazon KDP will do for them. So in this video, I'm going over how you can quickly and easily create and upload your own low content book on Amazon KDP for free, determine what types of books to create based on current bestsellers, and how to ensure your listings generate consistent traffic and sales. To get started, the only tool you're going to need in order to research and create your low content books is BookBolt. They have a studio feature to create your book from scratch, which includes beautiful pre-made interior pages that you can use. This makes it super easy to create multiple books at a time. They also have stock images that you can use for your cover pages and interior pages. Their research section is incredibly valuable because it will help you determine what shoppers are currently searching for and purchasing on Amazon. So you'll know what you need to create in order to generate sales. You can sign up for their free trial using the link below to follow along this tutorial and have your first book ready to go today. They have monthly and year yearly subscription options if you choose to sign up after your trial is done. And since I love their tools so much, I have partnered with them to give you guys an extra 20% off any subscription you choose. Just use code Sandra D at checkout. First, you'll notice that BookBolt has built-in tutorials for all the features that they offer in case you need further clarity on how to use their tools. They also have weekly calls with the owner of BookBolt where you can ask questions and get some help with what you're currently working on. I highly recommend recommend joining their active Facebook group where you can connect with and get tips from other successful sellers on Amazon. All right, let's get started. I'm going to go straight into the studio to show you how to create your book first. And if you want more step-by-step -step tutorials on this whole process, I have a few on my channel that I will link for you down below. To create your book, click on research on the top left here and select create, then click on BookBolt Studio. Now, many new sellers will decide to create blank plans or lined journals because they're super popular on Amazon and they're the easiest to create. But those tend to be the most competitive and therefore will be really difficult to make sales from. So for this example, I'm going to create a password tracker book and I'll show you later in this video exactly how I landed on that idea through my research. For this project, I'm going to select paper, cover and interior and name it password tracker. Under trim size, I'm creating a six by nine nine inch book because I noticed that many best-selling password books on Amazon are that size. So based on what type of book you're creating, check to see what size other sellers are offering it in. Let's do black and white interior with white paper. I'm going to select bleed and I'll just make this book 50 pages long. And just like that, I have blank artboards that I can start working with. The first page is obviously my cover page. You can go through all the information on here. It basically explains that the right side of this artboard is the front of your book and that whatever image you use for the cover, make sure to extend it all the way to the outer edges. So for now, I'm going to click on this icon and select hide cover template just to remove all that information. Now, if I click on the file library, which is this icon here, I can either upload an image of my own to use for the cover or I can browse through their library of free images. And for this book, I wanna create more of a vintage cover page. So I'm going to type in vintage flowers and see what comes up. I personally loved this one here. I think it's beautiful. So I'll click on that and just extend the image to cover the entire artboard. Now you're going to need to add a title to your cover page. So let's click on elements, which is this icon over here to add a box behind our text. I'm going to select the rectangle and resize it how I like on the cover. If you need help centering all your elements and text with the page, you can click on the grid icon here. I'm going to select add grid and I'm just going to leave it at the default number of columns and rows. This will provide some guidance for centering everything with the page. And you can just clear the grid by clicking on this button when you're done. Okay, to add text, click on the text feature here. I'm going to add a heading and label this password tracker. You can edit your text however you like using the toolbar at the top. Let's add a spine to the book. So simply go back into elements, select the rectangle and just drag it all the way to the top and bottom of your artboard 
board and you can choose how wide you want your spine to be. I like to use one of the colors on my cover for my spine. So to do that, click on the fill color here and select this eyedropper tool. You can now click anywhere on the page to match to the color that you want. My cover's all done, so I'm going to now create the interior pages. Like I mentioned, BookBolt has many pre-made templates that we can use for the interior. So if you click on this maze looking icon, you'll see all the options you can use and customize further if you want. Since I'm creating a password tracker, I'm going to type password in the search bar and I see two options here, a narrow version and a wide version. I personally like the wide option more, so I'll click on that. Now I get to choose the pages that I want this template to show up on. And since I want it on all the pages, I'll select all, which will highlight all of my pages. I'm just going to deselect the cover page and hit next. That's it, my book is basically done. You can of course customize these pages by adding in more text, elements, and graphics. So if you wanna learn how to make your pages more unique, like I mentioned, I will leave more step-by-step -step tutorials in the description box below. This is why I absolutely love using BookBolt over Canva to create my Amazon KDP books. First, you have all these pre-made templates that you can use to help you create multiple books in a short period period of time. They have beautiful built-in images that you can use for your cover page, and BookBolt was specifically created for Amazon KDP books. So the dimensions and setup of every book you create will follow KDP's guidelines and requirements. Once you're happy with your book, click on download at the top left corner and select download current project CMYK. This will now download two files for you, one for the cover page and one for the interior pages. Before we upload our book on Amazon, let me share how I landed on the idea of a password tracker first. Make sure you're in the research section of BookBolt by selecting research on the top left here and click on cloud. This is where you can research the top 100 to 500 bestsellers on Amazon within a specific category. For this one, I wanted to create some sort of tracker, so I selected tracker and hit search. BookBolt then populated the top 100 bestsellers in the tracker category, along with a lot of detailed information about each listing. You can actually determine how much revenue each book is currently generating. So as I scroll down, I found this password keeper that is currently being sold for $6.99 and generating over 200 monthly sales. So just this book alone is generating over $1,500 a month in revenue. And since it's a bestseller, I know there is a lot of demand for this type of book. My next step is to determine how much competition I'll be up against. So I'm gonna go into the keyword section here and type password tracker into the search bar. BookBolt will then populate a list of trending Amazon searches that are relevant to my keyword along with the monthly search volume. So I can see Password Tracker has over 2,000 monthly searches on Amazon, which is really good. What's even better is when I type in Password Tracker on Amazon, there are less than 1,000 results that come up meaning that the demand is even higher than the competition that I would be up against. And that's the sweet spot you wanna hit in order to give you a better chance at making sales. All right, let's upload our password tracker onto Amazon KDP. To get started, you'll need to sign up for a free KDP account. Just go to kdp.amazon.com and click on join KDP. Once you're signed in, you'll be taken to your bookshelf where you'll be uploading all of your books. Click on the create button right here and we're going to select the paperback option. Since I've already gone through this process in detail in past videos, I'm just going to point out a few important sections you really need to focus on. Your book title, description, and keyword sections should include multiple relevant keywords that are highly searched on Amazon to give your listing a better chance at ranking in search. You can find the best keywords for your listing using the keywords section in BookBolt. So for my book, I would use phrases like login and password tracker, password tracker notebook, and six by nine password book as just a few examples. Under print options, you need to make sure that everything you select here matches what you selected in BookBolt. Otherwise, your book will not get approved. So I've made sure that all my settings match what I selected in BookBolt. Next, you'll need to upload your interior pages and cover page. So upload your interior pages under the manuscript and your cover page under book cover, obviously. 
successfully. Amazon requires you to preview your book and approve it before going to the next step. So select launch previewer, and this is your chance to just go through each page to make sure everything looks good. I also like to take a look at the thumbnail view so I can view all the pages at the same time. Okay, hit approve when you're ready. And the final step is determining how to price your book. There are two ways I like to do this. First, you can go to the cloud feature in BookBolt and click the results data dropdown to view the average price of the type of book you're researching. Another way is to look at best-selling books on Amazon that are very similar to yours and pricing your book around the same amount to be competitive. The best part is you don't have to pay anything out of pocket. Amazon will simply take a cut from your profit each time you make a sale. You also don't have to do anything when you make a sale. Amazon will print, package, and ship your books to your customers, allowing you to generate monthly passive income from every book you publish. And that's it. You're going to publish your paperback copy and give it up to 72 hours for your book to officially be published on Amazon. To avoid any delays, make sure to read KDP's content guidelines to make sure you're following all their requirements. I'll leave a link to this in the description box below. Make sure to grab BookBolt's free trial using the link below, and you can create your first few books entirely for free. Use code Sandra D at checkout for 20% off your entire order when signing up for the free trial so that the discount is automatically applied if you choose to go with a paid subscription. To make low content books like the password book I made here, you only need their newbie plan. If you intend on creating puzzle books like May and word searches, then you'll eventually need to upgrade to their pro plan. I hope this has motivated you to start publishing books on Amazon KDP. Many people will claim that the market is super saturated and it's impossible to make sales, but that is absolutely false. You will quickly see in BookBolt's Facebook group that new sellers are seeing a lot of success. And that's because they're doing their research and putting in the hard work upfront to create quality books that are highly searched and consistently purchased. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. You can head over to this video next where I show you how to create a planner in BookBolt and upload it to Amazon KDP step by step. So I'll see you there.